chair now recognizes the gentleman from Tennessee, Mr. Fleshman, for five minutes. Thank you. I thank the chairman and the ranking member for having this hearing. And to our distinguished panel, thank you very, very much. Uh, Secretary DeBar, it was a privilege working with you in the last administration. I'm glad that we could continue to work together. But to each and every one of you all, thank you so much. As you know, I represent the people of the 3rd District of Tennessee, which encompasses the entire Oak Ridge Reservation and all that it entails, including our great national laboratory. Uh, if I may, the main goal of the National Quantum Initiative Act was to accelerate development of quantum information science and technology applications in the United States over 10 years. Since the law passed, we've seen major advancements in technology, which has led to significant federal and private investment. Last year, Chattanooga's utility, EPB, launched the EPE, EPB Quantum Network, which is the first industry-led, commercially available quantum network designed for private companies, government, and university researchers to run quantum equipment and applications using EPB's fiber optic infrastructure. And while we still need to continue our quantum research and development activities, I think we have a real opportunity to jump to the next step, which is connecting the science to specific application areas. I'm interested in the panelists' thoughts, uh, talking, uh, taking a regional approach to this, one where the key players in the region would form a consortium to create a test bed where one could take advantage of everyone's strengths and focus them on specific applications. Using East Tennessee as an example, you could take EPB and its network, bring in the Oak Ridge National Laboratory with its expertise in exascale and quantum computing, maybe some business and universities, and focus them on applying quantum science and technology to securing the electrical grid. My question for the panel, do you think a regional approach like this might lead to accelerating scientific discoveries and translating them into real world applications? And I think we can begin with uh, uh, on, on this side and, and move across the panel, and I thank you all. Thank you for the question, uh, Congressman. Uh, let, me, let me just start by saying that the U.S. government is taking, uh, protecting our networks extremely seriously, and NIST has been leading a, a standards uh, competition for quantum resistant cryptography, and the government is working to deploy that as fast as possible. That does not require quantum technology right at the beginning. In the long term, where we look to quantum networks, hopefully connecting our quantum computers and sensors. Uh, it, we're very fortunate in the government to have a lot of expertise in, in the agencies, and we've brought them together to make recommendations for, for you through various reports. One of them is a quantum networking report. The key thing is to focus on the hard technical challenges. One thing we really need are very high fidelity components to connect different types of qubits to enable a network. If we can do that, if we can solve that science problem, we can make every, all, everything the industry wants to do much easier. And I think that's maybe very well focused and, and compatible with regional teams focusing on these core uh, transduction components that can go into those networks. If we can solve those problems first, then everything else becomes much easier. And I would encourage, you know, this, this being a science-focused initiative, the government can really accelerate that hard piece and make it easier for all the, the applications thereafter. Thank you, sir. Secretary DeBar. Uh, Congressman, the, the Chattanooga effort with Oak Ridge is a, is a great example of the uh, capabilities and prospects of regional uh, efforts. Almost by definition, if you're going to build a network, it has to be regional. Uh, and, uh, and so Oak Ridge in East Tennessee is, is at the lead. There's others, uh, New York, Chicago, or, or other, other big areas of the country where things are being tested. Um, the, the CHIPS Act authorizes uh, uh, certain aspects of that. Uh, I would recommend that this committee look to enhance that because uh, that's, that's the way that uh, it, things get built out. Once again, going back to the Internet example of 1969, that's how the first four, four nodes of the Internet started. And I think that's where we're at with quantum is to, is to do the same. Thank you, sir. I agree that regional efforts are very important. Uh, bringing people together uh, to work together uh, in ways that can only be done if people are close by. On the other hand, with the technology that's here, being able to work across the country is really important as well. And 
for example, we at NASA worked with people at Oak Ridge National Lab to support Google's quantum supremacy experiment. And um, so being able to do cross-country collaborations is also important. So balancing those things is critical going forward. Thank you. The Thank gentleman's you. time is time. It is occurred. May, may, okay. Uh, I guess I have to yield back. I was going to ask the others if I might get at least a 10-second response, Mr. Chair. Yes, Cardinal. <laughs> Ten seconds each. Thank you. <laughs> I just want, I just want to um, say that EPB is a member of, of my consortium, very active, um, and I visited them in March. We held, actually, our meeting there so that we could go and visit. I think it's a great model. Um, I think quantum expertise isn't all consolidated in across in regions across the country. So if you want best in class, you're going to have to kind of break that open a little bit. Thank you. So um, I think that region, building infrastructure to have regional hubs in areas especially where, that are quantum information deserts is critical. And I think could, is, it aligns with the notion that our educational systems are local and locally governed and provides on the ground access or could provide if we were successful on the ground access for people of all ages to, to have a front row seat I was talking about. Thank you. I thank the Chair's indulgence. Ms. Chair, I yield back. Gentlemen.